Hi Aries, welcome to your uh, weekly uh, message. As always, keep in mind that this is only a general reading, always stick with what feels right and with what does resonate within your own life experiences during this time. If you would like to have a personal reading with me, please contact me through the email I put in the description box below. Um, and if you would like to donate and support my channel, you can also do that by following the PayPal link, which is also down below. So, Aries, I feel like some of you are ready to come out of your shell or come out of a um, more silent, hidden space you have been in, particularly for areas that have really been privately, you know, healing or deeply co contemplating what to do next when it comes to certain concrete actions you do want to take or investments, you know, you do want to make. It depends on what's your personal cir circumstances, but it's something concrete that you want to do. With this page of um, pentacles energy, you want to take a step towards something um, that even in the begin, even though in the beginning stages you see value, you see something about this energy that is going to take you far or improve your life quite a lot. I feel like you also have been trying to uncover here what what it is that your intuition is telling you about this endeavor or for some person, depending, but it's like you want to make sure that you're going to make the right move. I feel like some of you are very afraid that you're going to make the wrong uh, move or, you know, the wrong investment. This is really paralyzing for some of you is that you might make a mistake here. So you're really trying to have this intuitive certainty of what you will be doing for some of you you will reach that um internal trust in something and do it this week so you're ready to do it you're ready to take action for others you're still quite indecisive here and you know bouncing between action and passive um retreat the thing is that um, for those of you that are still a little bit afraid of doing something, there's also this understanding that you might be, um, how do you call it, like you might be like about to lose something if you don't act now. So that might be the trigger that regardless of how confident you feel, you're still going to do it. There's something here about, it's almost like the um, Mars has been in your sign energy and has been retrograde and now moved back in the direct motion, right? So it's like this effect of Mars being direct again, um, making you come out of that, you know, reflection mode and do something because excessive reflection and contemplation can also be uh, challenging so especially for an Aries so it comes to a point like there's so much you can study there's so much you can analyze there's so much you can do there's so much you can meditate there's so much you can you know know like the, the, again it, there's so much knowledge that it's possible to acquire about a situation. There's things that only after we do it, uh, you know, <laughs> that we're going to know, basically. <laughs> so, but I feel like I'm sorry. You're putting a huge importance in being prepared because this is something that for you feels big. So you really want to be prepared. Some of you need to let go of control or control energy that you have been in and just make your move about something that you know is going to benefit you. For some of you, this energy speaks about investments. As I said, you want to invest in something. Um, it could be a new, you know, it could be your studies. It could be a new job. It could be a new project or the purchase here of something. Um, 
that is just going to improve the quality of your life or the life of those you care about. For others, it could be a person. Um, some of you, Aries, like you want to offer something to this person. Um, it's almost like <sighs> there's someone in your... So, is someone or something eye-catching for sure here for you for a while? So either you want to approach here a person to work with you on something and you're trying to gain here again. Either the... For some of you it's a matter of courage. For others of you it's like you want to calculate the right timing here to do it. Um, either you want to approach someone to work with you or you want to put someone with an offer, with an invitation that can lead to something, you know, concrete between you to happen, like an offer of commitment or something like that. Um, it's an interesting energy of time is passing by. So some things need to happen, uh, even if they're going to bring you out of your comfort zone for a while. Because this is about whatever it is about this page of pentacles energy, it really takes you out of your comfort zone for some reason. So uh, it's daring to make here a move uh, to cross, you know, this very uh, unusual experimental energy to know what is going to come about this. And you could also be. Obviously, in my readings is always both ways. It could also be that there's someone contemplating as well. They're moved towards you. Um, someone that has been perhaps more quiet. or more. You feel like it's not you, but that someone has been definitely more um, in their shell, hiding, not so, you know, communicative. If, if there's someone that you're um, wandering about as well. It could be them, that they're getting them, they're ready to make their move after a period of more retreat. Um, especially for Aries that are dealing with Earth signs, energy, or Pisces energy as well. Here, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, perhaps. Um, they're going to come. If, it, if it's you that you're waiting, they're going to come. But I, the, feel, the funny feeling here is that maybe for those that this is about relationships, friendships, connections, those sort of things, or even business um, contacts, it feels like a mutual thing. Like you're waiting on them, they're waiting on you. So there's this weird um, energy of timing that it's interfering in just, you know, things coming together and happening. So I, I hope you have a great week. I want to thank all of you that have been liking, subscribing, commenting, and donating to my channel. I really appreciate it. Thank you so much. Hopefully, we'll see each other soon.